What's going on YouTube? We're here, the Sin City Overland Garage. We got second gen Tacoma here. Customer got a custom bed rack made. He got all his lights mounted, but he needs a little bit of wiring help. So we're gonna go ahead and wire some stuff up. Make it look pretty, make it functional, and most of all, we're gonna use that freaking Switch Pro. Stay tuned. Well, so far, we got some holes drilling around here. I got my boy Rodney here helping me out. We were running some wires through and trying to get some stuff through the holes, put some loom over it, and we're gonna make make this happen. Try to try to make it clean. It's gonna be great. Make wiring great again. Just something to be mindful of. If you're trying to get your connections through smaller holes, offset your butt connectors and you'll be able to fit them through a tighter hole instead of bulking them up right next to each other. Just a tip for the day. So we got a lot of the wiring loomed in at this point. Uh, nice little tuck-ins over here. Running through the channel there. Roddy's over here working on uh, some of the front lights. And we, we got, I don't know, we're, we're a little over halfway done on one of the wires. What do you think? Yep, get there. Yeah, almost. So, cool. we got the heater on in here, we got some tunes. We got a whole bunch of wires coming out of here. Made a little hole right inside there. We'll poke them down, run them into the bed cavity down to the frame in here. Some of these lights need to get spliced together. And we also have the other section of lights all coming down right here in the back corner. And those will also go into the bedside and run down to the frame. So, at this point, we've got all the wires run through the cage in the bed. We got them out to the spots. Um, we tested everything, we labeled everything, we know what's what. The two of us, I mean, we, we got about five hours in with two people, so that's that's 10 hours of labor. Just, just to get to the point in which you got wires coming out the spots, labeled all down, they're all ran through the cage, everything looks really clean. Um, Everything's tucked nice away, and and that's that's ten hours. So people that think that, oh, you know, getting all my stuff installed should only take, you know, it should only take a couple hours. You know, why does it cost so much money? Well, if you want it done right, it, it costs money. It's not easy. It takes time. Um, I still got probably another four hours of labor to get the wires from this point up to the Switch Pro in the front of the truck. It, it takes a lot of time so next time you go somewhere and somebody tells you it's going to be twelve hundred dollars to get something wired up well and that's that's why it takes a lot of time if you want it done right if you want it to look pretty if you want it to last it's what it takes let's finish this up
So, I just wanted to point out a little something over here because I could be an asshole and just make everything really tight and then it would suck to work on it. But for me, I know that I'm going to be married to this truck forever. This is somebody who will always come back to me. So, I left a loop on the wiring so that if you ever want to change something, take it off, whatever, you can cut this. You have an extra, you know, 10 inches of wire there that you can cut into and take the bed rack off the truck and be able to put it back on and have something to work with other than just having enough to, to run your wires. That really sucks, especially if you're the one that's going to be working on it again. Don't screw yourself. Well, we got a couple of uh, Baja design lights here. We're going to throw onto the hood real quick and tie them in with the ones that are up there on the roof rack. It's going to be dope. This thing's coming right along. Almost there. Well, we got a couple of uh, Baja design lights here. We're gonna throw onto the hood real quick and tie them in with the ones that are up there on the roof rack. It's gonna be dope. This thing's coming right along. Got the Switch Pro all battened up. Put a custom logo on here for him. Just uh, redid the loom a little bit, added a couple more grounds. Uh, this is some stuff I did a while back. I had already had the Switch Pro in here. We did a custom mount for it. This is where I ended up putting it on this truck. And now everything's actually being used now. We just need the blanks from the customer. And went ahead and swapped out the lenses up on these guys for them. The ambers up on the top corners and the hood corners. Gosh, they're so bright. It looks awesome. He's going to love it. He's going to love it. I love it. Do you love it? Let me know. Subscribe. You'll see more. Leave a comment below. Let me know if I'm doing a good job or if I'm just a fuck up. Who knows? Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and there's more to come. Have a good one.